Group real analysis by Bartley and Shaver. This is the problem from section 4.1, question number 2. So let's see how to solve this. See, the question says determine a condition on modulus of x minus 4 such that this inequality will hold. So this is similar to the question number 1, which is based on the epsilon delta definition of the limit of a function. So here consider A. Okay, so the target is we need to write mod of root x minus 2 is less than some constant time mod of x minus 4. This is our target that we need to achieve. Okay, so let's see how we can achieve this target. So consider mod root x minus 2 this can be written as root x minus 2 into just rationalize it root x plus 2 multiply and divide by root x plus 2 so now this can be written as x minus 4 divided by root x plus 2 now this is same as mod of x minus 4 divided by mod of root x plus 2 okay so now we need to upper bound this term whatever it's in a denominator this term so let's see how we can do it so let mod of x minus 4 is less than 1 this will imply minus 1 less than x sorry minus 4 less than 1 this will imply 3 less than x less than 5 now consider this portion this inequality only so therefore x is greater than 3 this will imply root x is greater than root 3 and this will say root x plus 2 is greater than root 3 plus 2 this is true because the square root is an increasing function now this will imply 1 over root x plus 2 is less than 1 over root 3 plus 2 so modulus of this is also less than this okay so now we will use this inequality in equation this just say this equation is 1 so using this inequality equality in 1 so we have what mod of root x minus 2 is less than 1 over root 3 plus 2 into mod of x minus 4 ok now come to the question it says root x minus 2 has to be less than half so what condition we should choose over mod of x minus 4 so choose mod of x minus 4 is less than root 3 plus 2 by 2 then we have then we have mod of root x minus 2 is less than half but remember here we have chosen mod of x minus 4 is less than this and again here we we have chosen mod of x minus 4 is less than 1 so we have to choose the minimum of all these two so therefore so delta will be minimum of 1 comma root 3 by 2 plus 1 so clearly one is the minimum of these two 
so this will be one therefore the required condition required condition on modulus of x minus 4 is mod of x minus 4 should be less than 1 okay so now question number b here the function is same square root of x the limit is also same it's a 2 there is a change in epsilon only so it's a 1 over 100 so what's the first question will be so choose mod of x minus 4 is less than root 3 plus 2 by 100 then we have then we have we have to apply this condition here only in this relation okay because the function is same limit is same only the change in a epsilon so till here the calculation will be same now we have to choose appropriate condition over here so that this root x minus 2 will be less than 10 to the power minus 2 so if we choose x minus 4 is less than this then we have mod of root x minus 2 is less than 10 to the power minus 2 but again we have chosen mod of x minus 4 is less than this and earlier we have chosen mod of x minus 4 is less than 1 so we have to take the minimum of these two so delta will be minimum of 1 comma root 3 by 100 plus 2 by 100 so clearly this is the smaller so it will be root 3 plus 2 by 100 so required condition therefore required condition is mod of x minus 4 is less than sorry less than root 3 plus 2 by 100 so this is a solution so if you have any difficulty in this solution please do comment and i'll be happy to help you thank you